I had to do a continue over from uh, what I was talking about with the uh, Uniform Commercial Code laws and um, Document 4373rd Congress First Session. Um, Since there are no judicial courts in America and have not been since 1789, there are no judges. Only magistrates, judges do not enforce statutes and codes, and that's executive administrators enforce statutes and codes. Um, at the end of the last video, I, I added in there, why is that important? Why are these laws important? If you go back to the colonial days, a lot of these things have to do with Masonic practices, having to do with uh, legalities and uh, separation of church and state. And see, at first, um, when we grew up, when I grew up in the 80s, um, Pledge of Allegiance was in school. And it's almost as if the wrong powers came into power and they're slowly trying to get rid of everything good. So when I was in kindergarten in 1985, um, we had the Pledge of Allegiance. And they realized that was a conflict of interest between the United States and Britain because Britain pretty much wants to cover... It, it's, it's a push of Catholic domination through the UCC code, through... Um, Ecclesial law and uh, conquest, laws of conquest and discovery, things of that nature of the Roman Catholic Church. Now, there was a popular movie that came out called The, the Ninth Gate, and that had to do pretty much with the slow turning of humanity on its head because... Um, uh, manipulation of the stories as you remember all the nightly tales of men slaying dragons to get a maiden but at the end of the film johnny depp is uh he's got that blonde woman and she turns into a serpent woman while the castle's burning and she's pretty much milking his phallus away and um that has to do with a lot what i'm talking about see in the book that he is actually following the nine gates it, there are all these little clues about what to do to switch jurisdiction over from one side to another now the author of the book of course a lot of people think this is fiction but with copyright hand over switch and from one area to another things that used to be myth on one continent are taboo on another so when you look at these things you're talking about a jurisdictional intrusion that becomes lawful because of the wrong hands on the quill the wrong hands signing over jurisdiction without the knowledge of the people that's why i don't let other people speak for me which is a big thing because in the, the catholic institutions do not allow catholics to Catholic institutions do not allow non-Catholics to join their institutions due to conflict of interest. Why would I let anybody speak for me? That's religious persecution. Now, this is true to Muslims, Christians, Jewish. That's why there's so much clash in the Middle East because, you know, people lie all the time and identity theft is huge. You know, your social security check does not it's not an insurance check or a contract. Nor is there a trust, a trust fund, and that's Helving versus Davis, three hundred one U.S. six nineteen Stewart, C.O. dot v versus Davis, three hundred one U.S. five forty eight. Now, the reason I brought up that movie, The Nine Gates, is because by the end of the movie, see, I was brought up and raised, and and it was a firm affirmation throughout my family. Knights slay dragons. They don't fuck them. <laughs> That's the difference. Okay? Johnny Depp, he lays down and this, and this girl who can levitate and float across the air 
she's got green eyes and i mean there's a lot of subtle things going on there but you're talking about bloodlines mixing that's why this whole story is important now if you look on some of the markings in the book a lot of people don't understand why there's l c f and a c on some of the the pathways but you're talking about it's not a big secret okay if you grew up in a christian household and not a catholic household you knew what ac stood for okay it's not that difficult these things should not have been kept secret everybody knows who lucifer is he's a fallen angel everybody knows what ac stands for it stands for the ark of the covenant That's why Catholics serve a deity known as Lucifer, not Jesus Christ. That's straight from Pope Benedict. Also why there has been persecution of the Muslim and Christian people for over 500 years that should have been obvious. Now with the Ottoman Empire, you had the birth of the Assassin's Creed and they were killing beings that resembled Dracula's spawn. Now, if you look further on in the history, you're talking about A lot of hidden history with undertones in it that people just they don't understand because as as you can see in the Middle East certain cabals would pay tribesmen believe it or not because they're so desperate and destitute in their situation to actually destroy historical landmarks now if you see a lot of uh, things such as the uh, just statues i mean if you go around in some in some countries it is against the law to to ruin a statue but then again we have that abomination in chicago with that little black motherfucker holding the flame of truth in his left hand i know exactly what the hell that is that thing needs to be fucking bulldozed into the ground but in other areas of the country they're some of the most holiest things are being desecrated because they want to erase and wipe history out. Now, that's why this is so important. Um, they want you to be considered human capital, and that's Executive Order 13037. And I'm completely against that. Now... <sighs> I've refuted all this stuff before, but obviously, that's why I have to make these videos. Um, that's why I have to know the law. That's why my word actually throws their entire system off, which it is doing right now. I mean, Lucifer was a punk. He always was a punk. He's a telepathic snake boy, and he's he's also like... If you look at the the movie, not even the Ninth Gate, but there was a 1980s movie came out called The Gate, and it had to do with the little boy opening up a portal underneath his his uh, his backyard that bridged under his living room floor with his friend Terry, and they unwittingly transgressed through just common day-to-day -day motions the motions that these kids actually do they don't realize how far and fast they transgress i mean those kids the characters in the movie of course it's a movie but that's about that's that's exactly what it's about it's about making modern day activity add up to huge transgressions and normal